While removing bed bugs from your carpet can be a bit of a daunting task, it can be achieved. However, simply tackling the carpet alone is only one piece to a rather extensive puzzle. Bed bugs will often hide underneath the corners of your carpet, in the cracks behind the baseboards just above carpet level, deep within your carpet, especially if your carpet is long, and the cracks between a table leg, for example, and the carpet itself. It's important to note that if bed bugs have managed to get underneath your carpet, then a heat treatment will likely be in order as standard techniques will not catch them all. Before you attempt to remove bed bugs from your carpet without any type of professional assistance from an exterminator, you must first clean the room or rooms in question and clear the area of furniture and possession. This includes clothing, tables, beds, sofas, etc. This is vital because if you fail to clean the rest of your home, by cleaning and removing objects alone, the bed bugs that are occupying space in those objects will return to your carpet and surrounding areas in no time. While bed bugs will crawl across your carpet, it's those deep cracks and crevices of your home they enjoy the most. This is why your bed and furniture make for the perfect hiding locations. In this video, we will detail how to remove bed bugs from your carpet, the critical steps you should take in order to have an efficient and effective result, and what you can do if a bed bug infestation is simply too much to tackle. In respect to removing bed bugs from your carpet, there are several steps that must be in order both before and during the process. Let's briefly explore those options now. Hopefully this information will enable you to establish a solid game plan if you do decide or have already decided to take matters into your own hands. The first step, as briefly noted in our introductory piece, involves clearing the carpet. Clearing out anything and everything. This requires tact. It's not as simple as picking up furniture and or removing clothing at random. Try this order of operation as a proper guide. Inspect any and all furniture. Spray with a substance that will kill bed bugs on contact. Our personal recommendation is tea tree oil. The next step is to wash as much clothing as possible, especially piles of clothing that have been directly on your carpet for a lengthy period of time. Bed bugs are no match for heat, so the proper washing and drying of clothing will kill any bed bugs that have been hiding away. Our next recommendation is to bag it up. Any clothing or fabric items that can't be washed or sprayed effectively should be bagged. This will keep existing bed bugs from spreading onto your carpet while you're attempting to remove existing bugs from your carpet. The next course of action involves storage. All bagged items and furniture should be stored outdoors while you clean your carpet. While bed bugs can survive the outdoor elements, they'll have a tough time finding their way back inside. The actual process of removing bed bugs from your carpet essentially serves no purpose if furniture and clothing items are still home to bed bugs. Spray, launder, bag, and store outside. It's imperative that these steps are followed before you even think of tackling your carpet. On a side note, this is also an ideal time to throw things away. If you come across several items that you know you will not need or will never use again, Toss them out. Think of this as spring cleaning, bed bug removal style. The next step in the process involves the use of double-sided tape as a DIY treatment measure. The concept is rather simple. If a bed bug crosses the tape, it won't be able to free itself. That's as easy as it gets. While the problems with this method are obvious, such as bed bugs simply ignoring the tape and moving around it, it can still be useful, and that's what you're looking for in the big picture. In respect to strategy, place double-sided tape around any cracks or holes in the walls, ceilings, or floors, if possible. Placing tape outside of a door of any given room can also be beneficial. As a word of note, if you plan to steam clean your carpet, use this tactic as an aftermeasure. Any tape that is placed beforehand will obviously get in the way and peel. The main objective here is to prevent any living stragglers from returning to cracks and various openings. The tape can act as somewhat of a sticky roadblock. The use of silica gel, or diatomaceous earth, is also effective against bed bugs. Both substances serve to suck moisture from the air. Consider spreading either substance around the room in question. Add thick layers around any obvious exit points. Leave silica gel, or diatomaceous earth, on your carpet for 24 hours as an effort to kill or trap as many bed bugs as possible. 
The final step in our guide is a combined effort. The importance of choosing your vacuum cleaner wisely and the critical importance of making positive use of all of your attachments. Because bed bugs can live inside of a vacuum cleaner, emptying the bag in a timely fashion is essential. If you follow the previous steps, most notably double-sided tape and silica gel or diatomaceous earth, these helpful tools should be in place before vacuuming begins. Once you're all set and ready to roll, the remaining process is as simple as a thorough and detailed cleaning. There are truly no special techniques involved. Just vacuum as if your carpet was incredibly dirty and family was coming over for an important holiday visit. Adopt that mindset because just a cursory and casual vacuuming session will not achieve your objectives. Be detailed and be thorough. Make several passes over the same areas. As briefly noted, make positive use of your attachments. This will help you to cover all of your ground as it relates to hard to reach crevices, baseboards, etc. If you vacuum your home on a routine basis, and are quite familiar with your personal vacuum cleaner, you're likely familiar with each attachment and you know which attachment will get the job done for each complex task. As a bit of a side note, you can steam clean your carpet. While this should only be done after completing the recommended step-by-step -step guide and thorough vacuuming, steam cleaning your carpet has the potential to kill bed bugs and their eggs. We recommend a heavy duty steam cleaner we also recommend that you own your own personal steam cleaner. Do not rent one. In fact, do not hire a professional crew. We advise this because rented steam cleaners and those used by a cleaning company will likely have cleaned the carpet of numerous homes, potentially too many to count. The last thing you want to do is accidentally spread bed bugs from a prior home to your home. If you've tried every known method and trick in the book, yet are still unable to get rid of bed bugs, there are some common issues that could potentially be at play. They are as follows. Picking up bed bugs in public, perhaps at work or at school, perhaps at a family member's house. If you frequent a specific area on a regular basis, you could be ridding your home of bed bugs only to bring them right back once they've attached themselves to you. The next possible cause involves travel. Are you a business traveler? You could be getting them from various hotels. They latch onto your clothing and your suitcase and enter your home as soon as you do. The final logical way is courtesy of the folks next door. If your neighbor has a bed bug issue, their issue could soon become your issue. This is especially true if you're a regular guest in their home. While you've been treating your own bed bug issue and winning, what you may not know is that your neighbor is fighting a similar battle. With each new gathering at their house, they're passing off their problem to you. This results in one headache of a cycle, where you rid your home of bed bugs, only to see their unwanted return just days later. And on that note, that will wrap things up for this video. We hope you found it helpful and informative. If you like this material, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're watching us now from bedbugsinsider.com or directly from our YouTube channel, we encourage you to stick around. We produce new content on a routine basis, so if you're in the midst of a bed bug infestation, have had one in the past, or you're simply looking for preventative methods, we've got you covered. Question time. Have you treated your home for bed bugs using the methods we've noted in this video? If so, how did things turn out? Do you have your own unique way to clear up an infestation? If any or all apply, please let me know in the comments section below. Whether you've adopted the steps we've covered or have a few of your own, please share. The information you provide can help others who are going through their own battle with bed bugs. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best with your treatment efforts, and we hope you have a wonderful day.